We're looking for angles outside the School of Education. Hi, I'm Ellen. This is a bench and it has a right angle. This is a pole, a light pole, and it is a straight angle. But if you look at it from the ground, then it's a right angle too. Acute angles are a little harder to find, but if you look here in the branches of a tree, that's definitely smaller than 90 degrees, so that's definitely an acute angle. And so are these smaller ones here. This abandoned stand thing is also an acute angle. Actually, we're going to we're going to look at this closer because if you think about it, if this were a triangle, it would have two acute angles and a right angle in that bottom right corner. Look at us using math in real life. If we're looking at this triangular block in the sidewalk, it has a right angle in this lower left corner and two acute angles. One's if you look at the line on the sidewalk, that is a straight angle. But if you see the line where the grass and the cement are separated are supplementary angles because they add up to 100 degrees or 180 degrees which would be a straight angle. The sign here is a rectangle, so all of its corners are right angles, 90 degrees. If you look at these rocks, they form an obtuse angle because it's a really wide angle that looks like it's more than 90 degrees. This tree has a large branch extending to the right. With the main part of the tree, it forms an acute angle. If you look at where the grass is and where the sidewalk is, the angle that separates them is an obtuse angle because it's more than 100 or it's more than 90 degrees.